Are y'all ready for this? This is quite possibly the funnest grocery haul ever, possibly. Very close to the funnest one ever. First of all, it's the Great Pumpkin Haul, Charlie Brown. That's what it is. I got lots of pumpkin stuff. Some pumpkin stuff that we have never tried before. Actually, most of it we have never tried before. Lots of fun stuff over here for a video that I have coming up too, and the kids don't know about it yet. So they're coming over here looking at the grocery haul like, what, what, what? Sissy said a minute ago, mama, what are you doing with all this fun stuff? <laughs> Any guesses? Let's start over here in the pumpkin section, shall we? You wanna start with pumpkin? Um, I wanna start with those. With these, this? Yeah. This is a pumpkin quick bread mix. So I went through Walmart's website as I was doing my grocery delivery order and it was showing me all the new pumpkin things. And there were more pumpkin things besides this, but I just got mostly the ones that we've never tried before. And of course, I just needed some canned pumpkin for some more recipes that are coming up. We've never tried this pumpkin cinnamon roll ice cream, Jello no-bake pumpkin style pie. Now we have a lot of pumpkin pies, but we've never tried this Jello thing before. I've actually never seen this before. Maybe it's new or maybe I've just never seen it. I got three different pumpkin bread mixes. This is also gonna be a fun video. We're gonna see which one of these is the best. We have Libby's pumpkin bread and it is really heavy. Oh, cause there's a can of pumpkin in there, okay. I'm like, what in the world, Libby? Let me hold it. You wanna try? It's really heavy. See? No, I don't need help. We have the Pillsbury Quick Bread and the Great Value Pumpkin Spice and Quick Bread Muffin Mix. So we're gonna Whoa. taste test these. Of course, the Libby's will look a little different. It comes with glaze and all, but we'll taste test them before the glaze and see which one is the best. Yeah, let's bring them a little closer. Yeah, bring them a little closer. He wants to look at them. We got some of the Dove Milk Chocolate Pumpkins. We have had these before. I got this, Better Homes and Gardens Wax Melts Farmhouse Pumpkin Patch. It says it has pumpkin, sweet apple, spice, brown sugar, and vanilla scent notes. Y'all, are we going a little too far with the pumpkin things these days? Because I've never in my life seen cinnamon, pumpkin spice scented trash bags. Hefty, 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 hefty. They made some pumpkin spice trash bags for us. Ooh, we can smell right here, let's see. Try our irresistible scent, let's see. I don't even smell anything. Yeah, Jonah's gonna see if he can smell it. Tony is bringing us pumpkin spice frosted flakes. We've never tried these before. I think that I've seen them before. I don't think they're brand new, but we've never tried them, so we got those. And Kellogg's Special K pumpkin spice. I got some of this Black Rifle Coffee Company pumpkin spice cold brew. So y'all know in the mountains, there's a Black Rifle Coffee Company restaurant. Their coffee is great. It's my favorite place to get coffee in Pigeon Forge, so I thought we would give this pumpkin cold brew a try. And then three cans of pumpkin, and I think that's all the pumpkin madness. Yes, that is, I mean, that's not all that was on their website, but all the other stuff we've tried before or, you know, they didn't have it in stock. So before we move on to the grocery haul, everybody's wanting to taste test the pumpkin cinnamon roll ice cream. Now this brand has some weird flavors of ice cream, y'all. I'm talking Kraft macaroni and cheese, uh, sweet potato casserole. It gets weird, it gets, potatoes, like lots of weird, you know, lots of weird flavors. We're gonna see how this pumpkin cinnamon roll is. Y'all go first, go ahead. Thumbs ups, or thumbs ups happening with the ice cream? You like it, Manny? I don't think he likes it. That's gonna be a no for Manly. Let's see, hmm, okay. Oh yeah, swirls of cinnamon caramel. I knew there was caramel in there. Pureed pumpkin, cinnamon rolls, a little nutmeg, swirls of cinnamon caramel. It's really good, but you definitely have to really like that pumpkin because you can you can tell that it's pureed pumpkin in there. The one everybody's been waiting for, we know what these taste like. Why don't they look like pumpkins? Oh, they just have pumpkins on the wrapper, see? Oh. Yeah, it's just chocolate. <laughs> he was a little nervous after that ice cream. <laughs> We're gonna taste these pumpkin spice frosted flakes real quick and let y'all know how they are. <laughs> what else? Oh, we can taste this in the special K. We don't have to cook any of that. These taste more like frosted flakes, like a maple flavored, like a syrup. Oh, Those are good. Nice. Let's try the special K things here. There's crunchy wheat and rice flakes with nutmeg, allspice, ginger, and cinnamon clusters. That's how these, oh, there y'all are. Hello. <laughs> hmm. This is good too. It's. Uh, it's just a little hint of cinnamon, really. They're good, too. All right, back over here to the table. I didn't need a lot of produce this week because I still have a lot of stuff that I got from Aldi 
last week, I did get some sweet potatoes, red pepper, and Lunchables. Lemons, yeah, we got Lunchables. Some peppers, carrots, green onions, some of these little potatoes, and collard greens. I still have apples, oranges, strawberries, and all that stuff here, so I didn't need to get any of that. I have some country fried steak, and mostly what? What are these? Oh, fish sticks. Yeah, fish sticks tater tots, chicken strips, and chicken nuggets. Now the chicken nuggets, I got the dinosaur shaped kind, the chicken nuggets and the fish sticks and the tater tots are part of the fun video that's coming up. Also, mm -hmm. dino shaped kind. That's your favorite? Yeah. These three chocolate milks are part of that video and the Juicy Juice and Capri Sun. Juicy Juice. I forgot the bread over here. We have a loaf of Sara Lee Classic White and some hot dog buns. Back here, more stuff for that video. Y'all see if y'all can guess what it is in the comments as you see the things. We got some nacho cheese bugles, Dunkaroos, some chewy chippers, chocolate chip cookies. Oh, I forgot, I'm gonna tell y'all the meal plan as we go. Oh. One night we're gonna have buffalo chicken wraps, so I got regular chicken strips for that and the grilled chicken strips. With these collard greens, we're gonna have fried pork chops and a collard greens casserole. So that's what I got those for, and here are the pork chops. We got some football cookies. We cannot forget. What do we forget? Cheese. Oh yes, we cannot forget the cheese. That's right. We have mozzarella cheese and some string cheese, Ooh. pepperoni, mm -hmm. mild sausage and hot sausage. We just got a uh, Tennessee Pride. These hot links are so good, y'all. Yeah. We got some ground beef. This is for a Greek baked ziti that we're gonna have one night. Mm -hmm. Some stew meat. We're gonna be making grandpa's beef stew. We have some leg quarters here. We're gonna probably smoke these one night and I have, have a new side dish that we were gonna make with these. Oh yeah, sweet potato cakes and probably some baked beans or something. We have hot dogs, mashed potatoes. Now, I normally make homemade mashed potatoes but this is part of the fun video. Just to be quick, I'm letting Bob Evans do the mashing this time. <laughs> we have some black forest ham. Three Lunchables, some tomato sauce. I got this Wendy's chili just because I don't think we have ever tried it before. And I just wanted to see if it really tastes like Wendy's chili. So <laughs> there's that. We have the ziti for the Greek baked ziti night. Some peas and carrots, two cans of corn, and fruit cocktail. I got three of these little cereal cups, some breadcrumbs, ranch dressing, uh, Kinder's buffalo sauce and some hickory brown sugar barbecue sauce, great value tartar sauce, some townhouse crackers, Ritz, handy snacks, y'all remember these, a bag of the assorted little chip bags, snack pack pudding back there. We could call this the 90s assortment box. It's got fruit roll ups, fruit by the foot, and gushers. I got five of these little great value pizzas, two boxes of the pepperoni and cheese, great value sandwiches, the, they're like Hot Pockets, y'all know. We just everywhere. In case you've missed us talking about it before, we like these better than the name brand Hot Pockets, especially the kids. They would rather have these great value ones any day. Then we have some sandwich bags, some lunch bags, some laundry detergent, and candles. I got an apple fritters one, warm fall leaves. I've never gotten this one from Mainstays before. Smells pretty good, we'll see. These candles, they don't have the best throw, but they do have, you know, they're better than some. And I also got the backyard bonfire, and that's it. Oh, and guess what? We got the first Easter egg or egg. Hmm, there's been a pumpkin bandit here. And I'm pretty sure it's the same pumpkin bandits from last year. But it's fun to see where they decide to put a pumpkin every day. Martha, you guard this side. George, you guard this side, okay? It's not a hard job. Watch out for the pumpkin bandit. Checking all this stuff on this truck, make sure everything's okay. We know we got one busted wheel seal on the other side. You go. This thing, this thing here broke off. A lot of these older trucks can break and still run. <laughs> We're going to see if we have any more Easter egg or eggs out here. Any new action? Not yet. 
I'm checking everywhere because when they're, you know, when they first start laying, they might not lay in the same spot as the other ones. The first one did though, was it you? I know it wasn't you. You're an extra large brown egg layer, I think. No, you're not, you're an Easter egger. These two are the extra large brown egg layers, these two black ones here. I like dirt. Yeah? Do you too? Yeah, I like dirt. Yeah, because it's so strong. I'm fixing my cucumber plant here, y'all, because we had to cover it last night because they said there was going to be a frost this morning. I hope it's okay. We have a little bloom right there. Now, these peppers here, everybody, I know they hadn't got orange. He's been painting. But Nobody worry. They ain't think that's all, baby. He's been oiling. <laughs> Nobody worry. But these right here are not orange, but they will light your yes, tail up. They will. Jack. They're very hot. We're leaving them to see if we get some turnage that's what i call it turnage. we got a new little saying we say mm -hmm. when i go well, out to I people's garden now i'll be like under my coat mm. y'all got any turnage <laughs> we don't have turnage very quick very easy supper tonight y'all chicken wraps and french fries we've got buffalo sauce barbecue sauce ranch I'm gonna slice up these cucumbers. We have some spring mix, tortilla shells. We already shredded some cheese. Last week I made some black forest ham cool wraps. Was it black forest ham? I think it was. I just called them the cool wraps because I put cucumbers on them. They were really good. We put black forest ham, barbecue sauce, ranch, some of this spring mix, cucumbers, and I think that's all I put. I can't remember if we put cheese or not, but they were really, really good. Let me stir this chicken over here real quick. I'm just using some of the Tyson grilled and ready chicken strips and I have regular chicken strips in the oven. 